Welcome back to the Entertainer Show. Welcome my guest DJ, DJ Boss over there. And my name is Jason Cordova. This is my lovely co-host. Laquandra. La All right, Laquandra. <laughs> and we, today we got a lovely, sensual, sweet-voiced woman here today. It goes by the name of Ashley Pear Tree. Ashley. Show her love. How are you doing today? I'm all good. So, Ashleen, can you tell us where you're from, how old you are, and exactly what you do? I'm from Upham's Corner. Ooh. Okay. Recently just moved back um, to where I grew up, and I spent a long time in New York. Um, seven years, I went to college in New York. I did a year in Miami. Mm. Interesting. What, um, yeah. what school were those? Um, well, not I wasn't in school in Miami, but I went to Columbia in New York City. Okay. And so, yeah, I've been back the last few years just singing as much as possible. I'm also a songwriter. Just been performing as much as possible, recording as much as possible. Doing, doing what I can. Everything. <laughs> she she <laughs> don't just, you know, get the track. She make the track. That's <laughs> I've heard you sing, though. You got, like, a real jazzy, soulful Thank type you. sound. Like, where's mm -hmm. that come from? Because, you know, everybody's out here just talking about twerking, you know, oh. taking your man and yeah. all that. Like, where you yeah. get your all different from? Thank you for asking it that way, because I agree with you. I feel like the focus the focus these days in music is about what's trendy, what's popular, mm -hmm. what's, in my opinion, very, you know. Gabbage. I'll say it's gabbage. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and I grew up listening to, you know, some of the, the classics, you know, and their music is timeless. So mm -hmm. Aretha Franklin, mm -hmm. Anita Baker, Etta James, Marvin Gaye, mm -hmm. Otis Redding. You know, I grew up loving these singers. And, you know, my family had the records, but for some reason I just gravitated towards them. Right. And I would get the best of albums and just rock them like all yeah. day and so that's who I was growing you know listening to growing up Winnie Houston Mariah Carey mm -hmm. you know the singers the people that were singing and the yeah. songs that we Poor still Autumn tune. you can't out of yeah. tune back no, you can't. You know what I mean? no. yeah and paying you wouldn't have made it in the 50s I'll tell you that right <laughs> you wouldn't have made it man. you oh. would have had it so the shots at T-Pain you want to sign me I'm still down anyway. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway you know what I mean yeah so that's you know that's some of my background in terms of influences, and I grew up. Um, my first, my first sort of on-stage performance experience was in a show called Black Nativity, mm -hmm. and it's a big gospel show every um, Christmas time. Children, adults, you know, news anchors, boss news everybody's anchors. Everybody's there. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> there. <laughs> but it was it's beautiful gospel musical, and it was the um, the song play is by Langston Hughes. And then um, a man by the name of John Ross wrote the musical. Mm -hmm. And when I was really little, I was like 10 years old, I had a solo and my like, a duo, sorry, duet. The guy was a news anchor, what was his name? Charles Austin, I want to say. But anyway, John Ross just told my mother, like, she can sing, she loves to sing, like, pay attention, basically. And I always say, there's so many parents that, you know, they might not have the time or they might not have the resources or they might, for whatever reason, not think, let me put my daughter or my son in a music class or a piano lesson. Mm -hmm. And my mom did. She put me in Black Nativity. She put me in piano lessons. Later, I took voice lessons. I was in music school, Chelsea Community Music Center, all day Saturday, every Saturday. So that's sort of my background. It's just I loved it from a very early age. I loved practicing. I just I don't know if that answers. I don't remember your question. <laughs> she your loves question music, again? everybody. Music. I, I love that. music. Her mama put her into it. <laughs> yeah. She's doing it, and, and she loves it. And my dad plays the violin, and oh. so, yeah. And her dad plays the violin. And my sisters sing, oh, well. both of them. So you have a musical family. Yeah. Okay. So um, what genre would you say that you are? Um, well, I, I sing a lot of different genres. Mm -hmm. um, when I have to just pick one, I say soul R and B. Okay. I do think there's different subgenres of R and B. There's pop R and B. There's very commercial radio friendly R and B. There's soul R and B. Um, and since I do cover a lot of old school mm -hmm. artists, Marvin Gaye, um, Etta James is my favorite to cover. But I do a lot of Anita Baker and Otis Redding. I like to consider myself soul R and B. Okay. I do some jazz. When I write, I would love to call that soul R and B also. But I also work with a lot of MCs. And rappers, because not everybody can be a lyricist. Yeah, right. I work with you know different people, and so you could say I'm a hip hop singer too, because I work with you know so many hip hop artists. Um, can you I name do gospel a few? as well. Sure, yeah, of course. Um, the rapper I've worked with the most 
who's also begun to produce. And mm -hmm. I might do one of our songs today is Terminology. Okay. Um, shouts to Term. Hi, Term. <laughs> and, um, he, I like your music. Yeah, I do too. I love it. And he really was the first rapper in Massachusetts to really take a chance on me because he knows so many people he could work with pretty much any singer he wants to. He's doing very well for himself. And him and his DJ, shouts to DJ Deadeye, took a chance on me. I sent them some music. And then they started giving me beats and putting me on hooks. And I thank them a lot for that because there's so many rappers that, A, only work with who they want to work with or only work with people that they already know. They don't take a chance getting to know somebody. Or they're too busy seeing themselves as men and me as a woman and they mm -hmm. can't get past, let's, let's work on some music. Right. You know, we're all grown, but let's also work on some music. Right. Yeah. And they, they did that. And I really appreciate that. And I've performed with him in New York. I've performed with him here. So anyway, enough about term. I work, I just, um, we just finished a song. His name is Radar. Oh, rest. Radar. That's part of my crew, Cat and Corner. Yeah. Shout out to Radar. <laughs> well, he <laughs> just sent me the mix for our new song. It's called Get Right, and he I'm, so me. Hype. <laughs> I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. I forget who made the beat, but I know Fresh engineered it. Oh, and I'm Fresh? Just... Yeah, I know Fresh, too. Yeah, Fresh, shout out. Shout out to both of them. Shout out to both of them. Do you know Nesto? Man, that's my crew. <laughs> yeah, so I know Nesto. Do you know well, Nesto? <laughs> Probably not yeah, as well as you yeah, do. Yeah. But he wrote the hook. Shout out to Ken Corner, man. I'm disappointed. <laughs> do I know I'll Nesto? I'll play it for you. I'm anyway, sorry. I'm back to what you were saying. You. That's what you were just saying. They just sent me the mix down today, yes. and Fresh chopped it up. It's really, I'm hype. I'm so hype. We're going to shoot a video soon. So shouts to them. Um, I work with Retrospec. They're ill. Hoping to work with um, Mr. Fritz and Paranom. I just linked up with them. We're supposed to get in the studio. Shout out to John Glass, amazing producer. So I've met a lot of people through him. Shout out to Archetype. Um, he's another producer and engineer. I'm just, you know, I'm working with different teams. Shout out to Stig Zaconia. We have a song together called Come To Me. The video's out on YouTube. Um, it's fun. That's fun. That was shot by BD3 Films. Um, there's a lot so of people, people in other in other <laughs> cities and this kid in Australia. We have a song. Lito shouts to Lito. He's really big in Puerto Rico. Um, so yeah. yeah. Anyway, do I know this? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so like, what's like your big big goal? Do you want to be like a big star? Do you just want to reach like get a whole cult following of your music, or you just want your music to just be appreciated? I can't corner that's, you a great, <laughs> that's a great question. Um, that's a great question because I think that a lot of people, you know, their emphasis is on making it, right? Yeah. Making it, making it out the hood so or making things, it or whatever. You know? It can mean so many things. For me, what it means is I just, I feel like singing and music in general are a gift. Mm -hmm. I feel that they're a gift from God. The fact that, you know, I can open my mouth and you can open your mouth because you have a beautiful voice. Thank you. And we can sing and people are happy. That's a gift. Right. You know, to even sing a song and it, it moves people, makes them feel something or makes them feel sad if it's a sad song or whatever it is. I feel like that's a gift. I want to share that gift. I want to help other young people. I, I give voice lessons, so I want to help other young people, you know, through mentoring programs, through, you know, community outreach, all that, realize that each one of us has a gift. Right. Everybody has mm -hmm. a gift. Yours, one of yours is comedy. One mm -hmm. of yours is that you sing. Mm -hmm. One of mine is that I sing. And we all have so many gifts. We're not realizing our potential. We're not doing anything. Well, a lot of us aren't doing anything for other people. It's all about making it. It's all about, you know, who, why do you need five cars? You don't need five cars. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't need billions of dollars, especially right. when the money hasn't even been printed yet and this whole economy is a joke. For what? So what's your legacy? What are you going to leave? What are you going to leave? Mm -hmm. And so what I want to do is my sister, my older sister, has this concept um, of, it's more of a movement than just a school, but it's called the Freedom School. So we're calling it the Freedom School Movement of helping young people and, and people older than us know more about who they are because school doesn't teach us who we are or what mm -hmm. we want to do, how we want to contribute. It teaches us random nonsense that we don't need I don't remember half of it, and I went to or a good school. It. You know, <laughs> good school means nothing. The bad schools aren't much worse. I mean, aren't, you know, mm -hmm. it's not right. 
Mm-hmm. In our opinion, it's not right. It's not fair. There's a lot of oppression, a lot of racism, a lot of sexism, a lot of everything. Mm-hmm. All the isms. All the isms. Yeah. We want something different. We want to show people that we can live, you know, in a self-reliant way. We can be independent. We can, you know, change this world. Like we don't mm-hmm. have to. Just because they told us this is the system, it doesn't have to be. Right. Yeah. So that's the legacy, and I just want to sing everywhere and continue to meet other incredible musicians and. Shouts to Almighty. I work with a, new, a crew called Almighty, Rayel, Chronic Tone, Bakari, Ofats, MCs mostly, but also singers. So if you're down, it's a social consciousness movement. Mm-hmm. Um, getting the word out about peace and love and self respect and yes. revolution. Hallelujah. That's what's <laughs> up. Power to off. the people. Cut me off because I'll talk all <laughs> yeah, day. I mean, I'm about to get a beret and just start <laughs> this whole thing right now. Get a leather jacket. <laughs> anyway, so, so, like, yeah. what's the, like, your, your project you're working on. I know you're always working on something. Like you got yeah. movements, you got all this, you do, do. voice land, but what's like your musical project, uh, well, so to speak? Well, my biggest project at the moment is all these shows that I'm doing because I'm doing mm-hmm. four a week, every week. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can talk about that later. But in terms of recording, I have a lot of original material that's just waiting to be recorded. So mm-hmm. investors holler at me because <laughs> my favorite studio shows the archetype. You know, you want to be able to have the best sounding project. So he's my favorite engineer, but I ain't got no money. Yeah. So, you know, money's tight for everybody. So right. basically I'm working on like so many collaborations with different people, but also like a few of my albums. I have a lot of material that's just like, right. come on, yeah. come on, come on, let's go. So yeah, to answer your question, a lot of collaborations. I'm on um, a bunch of things with term terminology. I'm um, I'm on different people's projects here and there. They're all coming out. When they're gonna come out, I'll be patient. We all have to be patient. Just keep our eye on the prize. Yes. Yeah, I have a lot of like three, four albums that yeah, I'm working on at the same time. Right. It's a little ridiculous. So okay, <laughs> where do you see yourself in ten years? Ten years. I would love to be traveling, singing everywhere I possibly can. I would love to have the Freedom School up and running. Mm-hmm. I would love to have several Freedom Schools up and running. Mm-hmm. I would love to be spreading the Freedom model everywhere we go with our music. And my sister's in a reggae band called the Iracles, so we're trying to just be everywhere, you know, travel, see the world, sing, <laughs> blow fire, <laughs> and just, you know, spread peace and music everywhere if we can. And I'd love to have my little tribe of babies, mm-hmm. you know, freedom <laughs> fighter tribe. warriors <laughs> running around. Right, need a tribe. <laughs> Ten years, I'd like to have, you know, yeah. the father of those tribal warriors. <laughs> I'd like Zulu him to be also be my husband. Back, <laughs> yeah, I would like to, you know, have a partnership, not just a whole mess of babies. Yeah. Right, uh, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, all right, I want to thank you again yeah, from me. Thank you. Her, the entertain show. We'd like to thank you for blessing us. We're going to get a performance from her in a little bit. People don't go anywhere. But what I want you to do is look in that camera right there and tell the people where they can find you, your music, whatever you're doing. Let them know because they need to know who you are. Thank you. Um, Live, you can find me several different spots throughout the week. Mondays, I'm at Moksa, which is the front part of Naga. Sorry, not high. (laughs) Naga, the nightclub in Central Square. The front part is called Moksa. Um, I'm there every Monday, 9 o'clock, with my keyboardist, Johnny Keys. Tuesday, I'm at Daryl's um, in the South End with a full band. That's dope. Be there next Tuesday. A big event is happening on Tuesday, so if you can come, please do. Um, Thursdays, I'm at Saver. It's where District used to be, um, downtown 180 Lincoln Street near South Station. That's at 8 o'clock with the full band. Sunday, I'm also at Saver. That's 2 to 5. It's a brunch. We also do gospel. Taking a break, starting back up on Mother's Day. Um, that's what the band did. I say that. You can find me online anywhere. All the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, mm-hmm. Reverb. My website is ashleyandpeartree.com. If you know how to spell my name, I'll that's the trick. Right here. It's A I S L I N G, and then a pear. And then a tree. <laughs> Put it together, and that's Ashley Peartree. Ashley. 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 No yeah. G. The G is silent. She, you had it. Okay, yeah, I Ashley. messed up. I'm sorry, people. I spelled it right though. You spelled it, you spelled <laughs> it right, and it's pronounced Ashley and Pear Tree. Yeah, exactly. Right. You're exactly right. A I S L I N G Pear Tree. Pear and then tree. 
All right, thanks yeah. again. Once again, people, that's our interview for the day. That's we want to thank again Ashling, Lean, Pantry, uh -uh. <laughs> the G is silent. <laughs> but thank you. This is my co host, yeah. Laquandra. I'm Jason. Our guest DJ, DJ Boss over there. And stay tuned because Ashling Pantry uh -uh. is going to bless thank us with the more. performance. So don't go nowhere. Thank you for having me. Ashley Beartree, the first song I'm going to do is called End of Story. I put this out last year. Um, it was produced by Terminology, who's from Massachusetts. He's from Lawrence. He also reps Boston. Um, and Moose, and Moose is from California. And this was originally a hip-hop beat um, in terms just said it was a little too slow for him to spit to. So I took it, and I made it a very, very personal record. It's pretty much a little snippet of my life in a song. End of Story. Hey, 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 Tell me nothing that 
Tree. Look me up. Build with me, connect with me. A I S L I N G. Pear Tree. Ashley. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Hello, everybody. My name is Lapondra Seymour. I am the host of the Entertainer Show. And today, well, tonight, we are at the New England Urban Music Awards where I performed. I was nominated for an award for Best Caribbean CD slash Single. And also, I presented an award for Best Female R&B. And tonight was a wonderful night. A whole bunch of people came out. It was a blast, so I hope to see you next year.
So that was me at the Urban Music Awards, which was a great event. Shout out to everybody that came out. And thank you, Miss Ashleen, for being here today. She was a great, great guest. So I enjoyed interviewing you and spending time with you and listening to you say. Yeah, again, I would like to thank you, Ashleen Petri. See, I said it right that time <laughs> for coming and blessing our show. I mean, that's our show for this week. Once again, this is my co-host, Laquandra. Uh-uh. Sorry, La-Quandra messing up everybody's name. And I'm Jason. And um, next week, don't forget, our next episode is going to be Mike Anthony. So don't forget to tune into that. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. And we out. And we're going to end it with my boy, DJ Boss, over there. Take us out, bro. Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot.